Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's program presented as part of Wignall Museum's Home Edition, a series of curated artist talks, workshops, and discussions featuring artists and cultural workers. My name is Rebecca Trawick. I'm the director and curator of the Wignall Museum. The Wignall Museum is a teaching museum, an interdisciplinary art space that introduces Chafee College students, faculty, staff, and community members to innovative contemporary art objects and ideas. By fostering critical thinking, visual literacy, discourse, and empathy, the museum seeks to enhance the intellectual and cultural life of our community. We want to take a moment to recognize that we are situated on the Rancho Cucamonga campus of Chafee College, which resides on the traditional and unceded lands of the Tongva people. We offer our respect to the elders, both past, present, and future. Please let me introduce Pavel to you all. Pavel Acevedo was born in Oaxaca, Mexico in 1984. In 2010, Acevedo relocated to Riverside, California. He began working in communities of color and using his work as a tool for activism, addressing issues surrounding immigration, social justice, and education. Acevedo travels the US giving printmaking workshops at locations including Kala Art Institute, Berkeley, California, Newgrounds, Remark, Print Shop, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Horned Toad Prints, El Paso, Texas, and College of the Canyons Art Gallery, Santa Clarita, California. As an art educator, he also collaborates as part of the I Learn America program, working with, the high, working with excuse me, high school students in Los Angeles, Washington, DC, and Maryland. Currently, Acevedo has been awarded the 2019-2020 Fellowship Artist from College Art Institute in Berkeley and as an artist in residence at Self-Help Graphics in 2020. Acevedo has been commissioned to paint murals at institutions throughout Southern California. He's included in public and private collections and has exhibited across the US and Mexico. So please join me in welcoming Pavel Acevedo. Hello everybody, Th thanks for coming. Thanks for making some time today to join us to this new, new um, format. Set. Our artists are like working right now. So like some talks and like any like pre-making demos or demos that you like. So uh, basically this uh, talk is gonna be like, um, it's gonna be like um, diving a little bit in some elements they have been on the murals at the Chafee College. There's two murals that have been like uh, there right now. The last one was like finished uh, just before this pandemic started. So it was just probably two, three weeks ago before the shutdown started and it was, uh, it's at the dining area. So I'll, I will be talking about it and just like, I will start from that mural and we'll have, I will go from the next mural that's, uh, it's at the Wignall, the Wignall Museum Contemporary of Art. So that's how it's gonna be like navigating in, in between I will like uh, have uh, some, uh, bring in some elements from uh, pre-making that mostly that's what I do. So the idea origin uh, about the, the dining area was about, um, it was basically to like, uh, to, to talk about like, of course the, di the dining area and, and what's like offering there, like the aliment, the, the food products and uh, the um, students that comes in, in, the, in the dining area. So we were like talking about like, what was the elements of what was like the products that like, uh, it's been offered in, the, in um, in Southern California or the Inland Empire. So we just like came up with uh, elements as um, grapes, which is, there's a, there's a grape, uh, grape um, camp and a grape uh, camp there in the, in the, in the college and, and other ones, elements like oranges and there's like um, tomatoes, which is represent like the mostly um, elements that be like, uh, California produce and there's another one like potatoes and like lettuces. So those are the elements and they're like, and they're the ones that like basically like, um, they've been like a farm through uh, California and like basically they mostly like the generates the California, uh, California. So those, those were the elements and around that we would just like start like bringing up some other elements. And of course it's like the, uh, the San Gabriel Mount, the mountains, they just like, it's right behind the college in, and what is called the, um, the, um, 
it's called the Cucamonga, Cucamonga Peak, that's what it's called. And yeah, like uh, they were saying, it's, it's right in the Tonga land. So that was one of the elements that were like bringing in, the, in, the, in this mural. So the first image that was like for the proposal, if you would like to put it, please. This was, um, there was a digital like proposal in based on the elements. So the first proposal was like, um, it was like a gratitude to, uh, to the land. So, and I just like, basically when I'm working with some elements, I just, or projects, I try to like see well, how can I, what's related to those projects to myself and to like what's uh, I'm working currently. So, uh, basically, it was like a gratitude to the land, and I came up with that because uh, um, there's a stories for my my grandpa used to tell me about like how like you offer the products to the land like as a gratitude, and like it's a cycle that you go you go with it, and that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's something that it passed through generations through generations. My grandpa came from a from a, a farmers from a farmer like a family like right in this uh, in the it was right in the south sierra of oaxaca so that's where she, uh, he, he came so it was always like that give like the gratitude to the land and at the same time i was thinking about like there we have like the 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 sangreal mountains behind it so it's like uh what what was the 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 big um animals or like of, they will be represented you know because at the same time like talking about the animals is talking about the power that it's surrounded and, and in other ways to me i learned that they're they're protectors so of the land and of the community and a lot of times uh, community based uh, based on, on those protectors so that's why on, you will see in your left hand side like um a child with the mask of a uh, of a uh, mount lion which is to me was like the equivalent as a jaguar for um for the um for the Oaxaca or for like mostly of all the south like Mesoamerica there's like the jaguar is like the prom prominent um figure like the power so it's 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 the main one in in your in your right hand side you will see like what it could be a farmer what it could be like um somebody like having respect like to to the one who's giving the product and like who's showing it but at the same time when that person like is growing uh, some leaves and it's kind of making it a more like ambiguous like who who the character is and right in the back is the the um the sangreville mountains but um it was like that discussion and at the same time it was like the mountains were like too far so they want to like bringing it more like into the picture so we came to the next, uh, to the next, uh, to the next uh, um, slides. But in this one, for example, I came out to work with the uh, the mount lions based on the, my experience with the jaguars in in uh, in, in Mexico, speci specifically in Oaxaca, where I grew up. There's like the jaguar, and there's always like this dancers about it. So. There's, there's this community called Pinotepa de Don Luis where they always do like a carnival and basically it's an honor to the jaguar because like I said before, it's like the main, uh, the main, uh, the main protector during the, during the, uh, in what is called like um, Oaxaca, which is like the coast and it goes to Guerrero, but it actually could go just like farther. So, the jaguar is like the main main uh, main character and the main protector, and basically it's like uh, some they they're related to like one of the main uh, uh, goddess from the from the um, from the pre-Hispanic times, which is um, his name is um, Tezcatlipoca, which is like a jaguar. So even I remember my grandpa used to always tell like, yeah, he refers to the jaguar like the um, the the ruler the the el, el dios del monte or like el señor del monte like the which is like the lord of the the wilderness so he was always like it was the main 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 uh, protector so it was to me like bringing like that mixing the animal with the with the 
the humans or with the picture of like a person they have like this like connection because that's how always like or well, just to le learn like uh, tales about it so in the next slide you will see how like it came like some changes about like the, the for the mural and it was like the other ones were like more like they want to see more like the the characters the faces of the 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 characters that were going to be represented so we just have one without like just the faces to me it felt like it was a, a little bit more like far from what i was looking for but uh, they were like concerned too like about um how was the job gonna look like or if they weren't getting the, the right the right uh, message so for the last one the next then the next slide please so that one it was like for them like to use how it was gonna look for them the dimensions and this time i've been using more like uh, digital illustrations so I, I can just like get a little bit close to what it's gonna look like and actually what i, I can just present to like um to to whoever i'm working because for like artists it's like easy to like put a random sketch on a paper and show it and you know it's not gonna look like that but for uh for the public that you're working on it's it's a close look like so it was it was navigating still with the first uh sketch to this to the second one and uh it was for them like to see how it's gonna look like the dimensions and what they're gonna be seen for example the grapes you will see in your left and the other elements will go in the back but um yeah it was a closer look like and for example like i was telling the person in your right hand side who's like looking down like as showing us a respect it's like growing some leaves some uh, grass from the body and it's just too like talking about the connection there sometimes we lost it or feel like we were too far about like just because of like daily lives we always get like this like we kind of lost something about it i don't i don't want to say like it's totally lost but it's it's there you know there's a space sometimes and sometimes we just have to work or, uh, around it and just ground it ourselves to just come back up again but uh, i can show you for the next slide that was the last the last um, sketch so for example in this one it was just more like having including the the mount lion which is like right in the back of her head which is like showing who's like who's gonna be playing the role of in the connection and with the main character or the main protector of the land. And the San Gabriel mountains are like rising more up. And to me, I always like to have this ambiguous, like uh, ambiguous role about like what's around it of the characters. Like I, to me, I, sometimes I like to feel it like um, these two characters that you will see in there, they are mostly like giants because like, if you put like the perspective, like, um, like more like critical it's it's it doesn't work this perspective because they're child so they so the the mountains they have to look way higher so but to me it's just like it to me works because i always like to have this ambiguous ambiguous like um, talk about like what's these elements that you see in front and i always like to to work it because um there's um there's always this stories i always heard they always come between like i would like they probably will say like fantasy with reality but there's always like uh, a lesson from there so it, it to me works like that so it's still like representing like a uh, figure of child and it's easily easily to read for uh whoever and i want to always bring those elements to throw it a little bit off so the colors were like for example the ribbon was like was represented because it's one of the main colors for the campus you, you will see in all of their uh and anything they will use like stamps and they were like talking about like bringing animals they will represent like um knowledge and one of them is like uh, uh an owl or a part a, a part owl so that's one you that's what you're seeing on your like in a bob left and right uh so it's more like closing the closing the picture and the flowers that you see around there basically the uh, some flowers they're like the wild flowers that you will see all around the southern california you will see all like freeways like and all this um empty lands the from uh, the inland empire so that's something um that to me all, always grab and we always grab like as a creators like 
everything that you go around for some reason will just like stick on you and sometimes it comes just in a way that's more like um you're not really like tough or whatever it comes from your unconscious that's what i would say so and it's a way to connect and to talk and to link to land and try to acknowledge that so those are the sunflowers the wild sunflowers that you still can see around and there's like the potatoes they are are um in the ha in the hand from the character holding the online um, mask and the other one has like a celery in this in this last one i didn't include what is like you will see in the final and mural which is like tomatoes and like lettuce that that's right in the front and that's always like you offer the first um product that you would like to cut from the from your like uh, from your like um, from your um, harvest, so that's like always like a respect and you always like a gratitude from the land. And that's always that I, I learned from my, from my grandpa. They all I have only one uncle that's still like working working the land, and he still keeps doing that, keeps doing the um, the same um, ritual. So, for example, to me, or oh, I found out later on that all these um, empty lands in between uh, Riverside or like Inland Empire is really like a characteristic feeling to me. And I always, I, I kind of like being like now seeing more of my work. So that was one of like the things that want to represent it here. Like you will see in the mural, there's a little bit of being on the, on the, on the mountains, behind the mountains. There's no final pictures of this, this mural because, um, because of the pandemic, so everything got just like spread. There was gonna be like another another way to be, to have like more elements around it, like pollinators that didn't work in this side of the wall, but it did work at the end on the opposite side of the wall because this um, this dining room has like two, two walls painted. And like, as you see in these two characters that they have more like, um, Elements like herbs or like plants growing from themselves. It's just like, like as was I was as was talking about it. Like, just this connection that we have. Like, and that's why the two um, characters they just like they're no they're they're very, um, they don't have it. They don't wear any shoes. They're like really like grounded, you know. So that's sometimes that we're looking for, especially in these times, you know. Uh, it works more and it's always good like to be uh, outside you know it, it grants you like gives you a different perspective it's a uh, this is the beginning of the sketch for the the mural and then we just the outlining for that this mural was like basically it was it was the fastest mural i guess it was probably i would say 10 days it was it was it was fast um, have somebody like helping me so i always like to have a come from um, a great a, a great background from the the mural and start working around it and always like to incorporate the the way that i like uh, i do like to carve my plates yeah here's some details about like the, the mural when it's like more like farther so our idea was using for example like elements in the body like spray paint but for the rest i was just like it's just acrylic paint and, and brush so i do like to use like angle brushes so uh, that will like it, it mimics a little bit the uh the uh the mimics the, of the carving from the linen cuts on the wood cuts and uh, yeah, I do like that. Uh, that always the feeling, and it, it keeps me like it, it keeps me the. It separates for me from me the the way of I used to paint before. I used to like to do like paintings when I was back in school, more like trying to get more realistic, more like a paint. And right now it's just it's I, I can just go between like a print to a drawing to like a paint. I don't know. It's it's, it's more like freedom for me, and. For example, for the you will see in the back the the flowers, which is the um, the wild the sunflowers, the wild sunflowers, and I start those ones. I I put the background that background as black, so I can just have more like sharp edges, and I can have more like a high contrast between the colors with the black, and have a little bit more of depth. 
So that's 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 what I was working on it, and that's the ribbon, which is like I did, I did the same time, and this time I was just cutting black from gray to black, from black to color, and yeah, this this was a fun break. So we can play the next slide, please. Yeah, this is just more a close up about the um, the details with um, the brush and the and the colors, and yeah, it's just like. I was just thinking about the way to like when I paint I try to think or like just be in the in the in the mindset about like uh, carving a multicolor plate so I in it that's an exercise to me so it just like it throws me away about like thinking of painting and thinking about all the images that I have in that I learn about like what's painting or what's all what I like from painting and it only keeps me to thinking about like pre-making. Only keeps me, it keeps me just about like what I'm looking on uh, on the each carving that I'm placing, what I'm like trying to reach for the next project. So it, it's a good game. It like it, it, it's like when you're hungry, and you're and you're not even able to go and eat right away. So you eat whatever snack just to like cheat on your stomach. <laughs> That's why I feel with this. And it, it works. This one was like, um, I feel like this is what I'm being actually like looking for more in the next projects. So just having those more like games with um, with color, I think like will bring color to to the mural, change a little bit more. I do like it more. Then here's, you will see the final product with the, um, with the first one. And they always work, um, around like the feature of my daughter. She's always like, uh, she's always like in my work because um, we're, we're, we're tied, we're close to, to each other. And to me, it's a way to relate to any aspect that it's, it's happening in the moment too. And it will happen in the future. Like um, her, like having like uh, two, two identities. And, and at the same time too, right now, like talking about child, it's just like, opening a layer about what's happening and what's the role of Charles in this time. So it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really important to me in, in, in every aspect. So, and just bringing her in this, like, in this, uh, and my artwork is just like having, having the importance, I think like of what, like the creativity of like a child who have, you know, in, in, um, in artwork and daily, stuff about life you know it's always like have like this uh world between but what's uh, a child creativity with what could be like your adult life you know i don't want to call it like always like say that um um and our, our child is a truly artist I, I don't see it like that way i just feel this is a way for them to think in and many uh, creative persons we just have like we always keep it until like until we ever like we decide you know always to have it so you will see more like how like um, the final product looks alike and just, she's used to like having to like a weight of the dimension with the, the characters. And I do too like have that connect of uh, or like um, um, a, a female or probably couldn't be looking like female uh, aspect, but it's always like the, the, um, the um, the connection that could be with uh, the surroundings we always have to learn and uh, it's about like being like um, more like open and I feel like always like a, a person they portrays to self or like embrace a, a femininity uh, in their person is always like a compassion so it, it's a hard way to learn it took a while it was gonna take always a while and it felt like a who can always learn from a, from a female perspective. So uh, we can play the next uh, the next uh, slide. So for this uh, for that mural which is happening, it was just always like I was talking about like the landscape that we always talk go cross for work or any other like any other activities that we have. And to me, it's always like as a, many like visual artists it comes through like our eyes what we see. Sometimes we're not we don't know what we're looking at, it, and sometimes it will appear on our artwork. So I will show like sometimes like places they like to do 
more recent projects. And if you want, like we can play the video. There's a there's a video there. We just recently did it. So. So the, yeah, it's, it describes the part of the process that I've been working in, but at the same time, how like um, the surroundings we just like go through um, through through my artwork. That's what I'm trying to describe, and it goes through like uh, through a metaphorical way about like talking to space about like what's the uh, this is spaces in between the Inland Empire, Southern California, and what's like uh, and what is all this. Um, focusing in like certain like um, animals, for example. Like, and sometimes you can find in my artwork like raccoons, you will find um, crows, and that's like kind of the um, animals that I feel like they're always like in conflict with uh, what's, uh, what could be um, um, a place more like settled, you know, a place that's always like looking for like, uh, for some kind of, uh, cleaning and aspects you know how it's so more like uh, square square aspects of their lives more like a routine something that sometimes oh i do not feel like too much um um too much like reflected on that and always i would like to i like to have those uh, elements always in my work so because it would just uh, it would just create like this uh, confrontation to that uh, between what could be a nice image or you know, like uh, patterns, and you will see in you know, all those like elements that were like portrayed in, in the video about like elements from the from the palm trees or the leaves. Uh, that's that's always what it's looking for in in pre making or uh, in my work. But we can go through the next slides, please. And yeah, behind it, you will see just the elements as the um, the, the Kamonga Peak or what is called the San Gabriel Mountains. We can just keep going. Please. 
in those elements uh, in the, the opposite wall is just uh, a bee which is a pollinator and it was supposed to I was supposed to be adding in the opposite wall in like in a dimension that's like smaller than that but since it was the opposite wall and it's more like it's more like landscape is like really white and uh, the bee worked perfect because it's one of the main um, main um, elements that makes possible all this uh, pollinization process for example like and flowers or like any other fruits and even like for to contain like um, all the um, populations of insects and in this picture is you you not see but there's a uh, there's some other like elements uh, so on orange and strawberries, but still because of them they were like not pictures, but we can go to the next uh, slides. And like I was saying, like uh, with the same element of having like the two childs being in the ground, being in the, in the mural, it's the same way that I still like working with those like elements, having like childs, like as a, as a tails, they like, surrounded in the nature like having elements in their mask and then those masks have elements from like animals that are they have a relevant um basically about like pollinization or like they're just guarding the they're guarding their their the forest uh, for example in this one is just um in the mask there's like elements from a jaguar and there's some elements from the bat and something right now something that i've been doing mostly and just go for walks and do like pay stops, pay stops and like and in uh in trees and they they don't actually damage it like trees or anything. They just like paper will fall and just like will disintegrate. And some others I do in uh, on the walls, but we can just like keep going. And it's the same like wait about like having like uh this like grounding to yourself. So and the other element is about like Oaxaca, California, the other you know, this by the Wignall. And it's in the lobby. So, for example, I do choose to call it Waka, California, because it was the way to me to relate to when I just arrived to Riverside. There was some, uh, there was an anthropology like professor at the UCR, and he did um he did a research about like Waka, California. He called it, and it was like the migration from Oaxaca to Riverside, California, and how, how like workers was just like come to work and to do like their the farm work at the uh, orange field. So. I do like this this does this project because it was like to bring like elements from um, uh, ambiguity. You will see like this uh, mask between like life and death, and this is something that it's uh, really common in the IE or Southern California. This like en enormous trucks, and in the right hand side you will see like this um, part of the uh, codex where there there was like portrait um, uh, which was like one of the first. Um, Battles after the Spaniards came to 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 this land, and um, yeah, well, I can talk more about it in the next slides for some details. And this was the first like proposals that I was like having like for the mural, which is having this this wire and having like this elements. This, sometimes it's being like talking for like um, or um, ways to come across the border. Sometimes to me it's like a little bit like have to be, have second thoughts about it because it's uh, it's just to tell a story, you know, about yeah, immigration. And it's a story that, I mean, um, I hear about it. I have a, I do have a, a way that I can just talk about it, but it's not mine, you know. And in that sometimes I just want to be respectful because I don't want to be talking about those elements sometimes because they're actually not mine. It's not, it's not my story how I immigrate to this country. And uh, I can just like be so close, but you know, I just don't wanna be like portrayed my artwork in that, in that sense, you know? And feel like I'm like, I'm actually like um, capitalizing for that. And uh, sometimes I have like always second thoughts, stuff. this probably is just on, it's just myself. We uh, always like have like, second thoughts I have like really be like careful about what I'm put, putting there so it was one of the elements that was happening and I was reviewing with Rebecca every time so we can just go through the next elements the, the mural and this one the same um, the reason why like I choose her my daughter again is because the way they like 
she's growing between two cultures, you know? And it's the same way that like, many of the students will see themselves probably in the past, in the present, probably will see them in the future, you know, how you always like in these two areas, you know? And then you can be like any, have any like background in yourself, like, and you're always gonna be in this too, and always open like this, like, um, talks about like being in this place that to me sometimes it's, it's a third way, a third land, and a way that you can just do explore more identities you know and like question on identities and just you just for you to know like get lost you know so we can go to the next next slide and for example i choose like elements for uh, like the nine of five which is the the freeway that comes from right from the border to tijuana and just comes all the way to southern california and then i just create like different clips from codex you will see the Olin Khan, which is like the movement. And this uh, element is on the on the middle as a stencil. We can just go to the next slide. And for example, I use like uh, the element that you will see there comes from a carving that I did before, just having this elements of like aesthetic, the hats, which is like Southern California with the trucks and just like a face that all, it's almost like falling apart. It's just like talking about like, researching or you know, keeping the identity or digging in your identity but just to know to do not get lost you know we can which is getting lost is a good thing too and just elements from the um the and a glyphs from the oaxaca which is waxiaca which is means from the a plant that grows from the nose you will see in your left and uh, use the same elements from a um, drawing in, in the portrait of that child, but it was too. Uh, it was gonna be like one of the options for the for the mural. Or we can go to the next one, please. And I did create an element that is in the mural too. This is a way um, based on other uh, elements from um, the pre-Hispanic glyphs. So this is like to me, which it represent like Riverside. Riverside, you have like the Mount the Mount Mount Robidoux, which is like a landmarks and always a always like so like really attract to landmarks and how ourselves could be a landmark so just like change the cross like for like a movement this is for the four roads and uh from the pre-hispanic um codex so you will see a lot of that and just the the um the nopales and the the the, the mount hill and just the water coming out of that in, in the right hand, you will see like the way how like uh, a hill will say is that the petal, and the chapolin, which is like grasshopper, and amigali, which is like a man manantial. So that was one of how I was like used that one as a reference to create my. You can go to the next one. And yeah, this is like the way um, the portrait of herself is just like at the petal, a mountain coming water of the water from that. It's just like talking about like. Uh, life, creativity, brightness, future, and like uh, always have resources of creativity, like child that it will never stop, will always just grow up, you know, like a river always like, has like ways to like keep like going. We can go to the next one. This in that, this is more like um, elements from the mural. The same symbol of the wax jack is like right on top of their head. And you will see the, uh, the nine or five. We can go to the next one still. And on the, you will see like the same portrait and on top is like the Chapulín, the, the grasshopper, which is like a really a, a meaningful way to like refer to Oaxaca. And also the bakers because this place is just like, it's a land for, um, for dry through food. And you will see historically how like all many brands will, will, will appear from here and like how like the mini is a resources for like working people, you know? So it's always to me, it's like, it has to have like this hybrid moments. And then the part uh, where the uh, portrait is like, which is you see in the print, it's, uh, it's the, how we see like um, um, folks always like wearing this like hats and so always like so Southern California, like what you, it's always uh, telling where you're coming from, what you support. And like parts of the elements from this like um, guard war that happened after the Spaniards came, which is like 
the, the La Guerra del Mixtone, which is the Mixtone War. Under elements, you will see said soul, S-O-L, which is some, which is talks about like when one of the, um, Pedro Alvarado, uh, who was called Tonatiu, he was like one of the main like uh, captains close to Hernan Cortes, who died in that, in that war. And it was one of the biggest wars that happened after, uh, after Tenochtitlan got surrendered. So in Tonatiu died in us, uh, El Pedro de Alvarado was called Tonatiu because he was blonde. So natives used to call it Tonatiu because he's blonde as the, the sun. Tonatiu means sun. So it's, it's that battle when he died. And on the same, and the same, and the other side, you will see the, when one of the, um, one of the warriors from the Cascanes got baptized. And to me, it was like, it's really important because uh, I just to learn how like always, like there's a, a way for a culture to find like, um, to be resilient and to come through all their symbols to keep going or like identity. So, and that's a way they like, uh, will repeat, you will see in different uh, arts that was done before. And it's always to try to communicate that. Uh, part of our culture that was uh, repressed and we still like keep going and going around it. So this to me like how like this main feature was like between like a surrender be but between like uh, the death of like uh, the killing of like a conquistador which is was like uh, like many of them were like they were um, brutal people. Probably there's another one so maybe we'll and yeah just talking like as a resume like all this mural work with pre-making that I've been like working and doing more researches. And, the, and those works, they just came up after uh, working with the murals at, uh, at the Chaffee College. We can go to the next one. And yeah, that was like, after having those works at the uh, Chaffee College, it was like open to have any, any other like, uh, um, uh, any um, works with, uh, with, uh, with Santa Clara, so it was a residency that I did, and it was to like going more, exploring more like the work of the mural with the pre-making and the aesthetic, and yeah, just like making it more like wild, you know, like explosion to me. We can just get going. And that was too before the mural in the dining room. That was my first uh, color into a mural, so. Going to the dining to going to the dining room was like was more like feeling something that was just like closer more that I want to explore. We can go to the next ones. Yeah, that was the process of the same one too. That's uh, in La Sierra University. Yeah, I guess probably will be at the end or we are at the end of this. This presentation probably. Oh no, it's still like there's the bats. That's something that I've been doing, uh, like I was said before. Going for like walks and just in that same way of uh, pay stuff and just having a different answer from your artwork, yourself to like looking around. And yeah, just uh, right now, I'm just doing it more and more because I uh, have more of a vehicle right now. So it's more like easy for me to do it. And uh, yeah, everything changes. So. Uh, sometimes it's uh, I don't know, it's a way to like keep going, you know, whatever you like have to be doing, it. especially in this times and exploring it that way, you know, it's like it's, uh, you will, you yeah, you definitely will find something and question other like other um, formats to look to display work. And we can go for the next ones. This is one of the last works that I've been doing just to talk about the maps and the relationship of a landmark, the relationship of what's around it and the representation in this, which is the total, which is the an ancient animal and it's like a connection with earth and how like um, a child or like ambiguous character will grow from it and like will know from what's the land, you know, it comes to like from, um, from from tales that I was like tell by my grandpa. So if there's one, or we can just close. Yeah, we can close with this one, which is like the same uh, linear cuts that have been just like put pasting around the inland empire. Yes, I guess we're fine. Yes, please, if there's any question, 
comment about this. All right, thank you, Pavel. It's such uh, an honor you. to hear about your, proce your process and your practice. So we appreciate your generosity today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna kick it off to Andy. Uh, he has some questions, I believe, from the chat, which he'll ask you. And then of course, um, please uh, ask any additional questions that y'all have in the audience, okay? Right, yeah, if you do have, um, if you would like to ask a question too, you can just put your hand up or uh, just unmute yourself and ask as well. But um, I, I don't know how much time we have. Unfortunately, I know that we have a lot of questions. It was great to see your process. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I know that we're probably gonna have a lot of um, students um, viewing this at some point. So I think maybe one question I would like to ask is just, do you have any advice for, um, you know, young creative minds, um, students that are just about to graduate or those that are about to enter the workforce? Uh, well, just um, just look for the uh, look for uh, open minds like yourself, you know, or like look for um, folks that are like really like into find those creative outlets. You know, they always like have like this way for you to grow and like build those connections like based on creativity. That's like, that's, that's main, that's really valuable because you invest time in it and you actually grow from that. You have to grow yourself in after like, and when, while you're growing, you have to like spread it too. So that's, that's really important for uh, when, when you're going out and if you're, uh, the, the great thing whenever you're in school is you do, you have to speak as much as you have to speak and you have to do as much as you have to do and because we always have the, 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 the behavior when you say, oh, I used to look in the back and everything when I do was horrible, you know? And I think if you're in school, you can do as much as you can, you know? So with that, you have like enough like support to see what you don't want to do, what you want to like keep exploring and what you want to like change and just get a little bit lost, loose and lost at the same time to not be afraid about your artwork, you know? So that's something like you don't have to be afraid. You can be afraid about all other stuff, but no, when you're doing your uh, creativity process, because that's like muting yourself. That's what I'm um, I, no, I might ask another question too, just going back a little bit more into your process. You, um, you definitely talked about how printmaking influences your, your mural work, but I feel like also the printmaking is such a huge part, maybe even more of the foundation to your practice, it seems. Um, could you talk maybe a little bit about your education um, in, in printmaking or where, how you got started doing that? Yeah, I did start like for, for printmaking, I started doing, working on lithograph at a um, studio in um, Oaxaca, it's called like Rufino Tamayo. I did start doing uh, lit lithography. I did like to draw before that, but I didn't know how I didn't have that much knowledge about painting, so lithography opened that, that that door, and I did like it because it's like a lot of like um, physical work, and there's parts you have to be. I mean, not everything in your artwork is like how I feel. Or doesn't matter in the technique. I just need to explore my spirit, and I just it, it's okay. But you have to like have a a, a way to go to it, you know? So with that, like, comes your, um, your craft. So I did get into pre-making because of that, the lithography, but later I was doing more like painting, acrylic oil painting. I do, I spend a lot of time doing painting. I did have like relief pre-making with my professor. His name is uh, Shinsaburo Takeda. And, but mostly um, I did it through friends. A lot of that was like hanging out. Everybody that was like working with that or like, even even just hanging out, which is like working, you know, it was some. It was just a normal thing to do, you know, just hanging out in a bar and just like working or like talking about how you're gonna achieve a project. So I didn't expect to be able to basically focus in my work and relief pre making like as I do right now. Until I moved here, and I was doing like large drawings. There were I did a lot of like larger scale uh, scale drawings. In charcoal and later I just like land on pre making and I just thought I just think about myself and I thought about my surrounding and, and like what I was like going for and I was like it just happened to be you know if I if I was like 
12 years of a school, I would, and somebody would tell me, oh, you're going to be doing a lot of pre-making. I, would, I wouldn't be like, that's not possible. I don't like it, you know. I don't like it like as I do, like pre-making. But it's just, you have to be open, you know. And not marry with that with the technique, but mostly I do it right now, I guess. But yeah, it's great. You meet a lot of like people, pre-makers are like generosos and always like the way of sharing. That's, that's, that's what I like it the most too. You have many life after just being in the studio. Right. So it looks like we're, we're nearing the end of our time together. So I have one final question I'd like to ask you, Pavel. Yeah. Is there, um, is there anything that you are reading, looking at, watching, listening to, et cetera, that you'd like to recommend to the audience? And or is there an artist or um, group of artists that you'd like to, whose work you'd like to amplify? Okay, I do like to amplify. There's um, a uh, pre-maker artist. Um, his name is David. I forgot his last name. Uh, I can, let me see. His name is David. So, you know, there's another, uh, another group is called um, this Desert, like Desert, Desert Triangle, Desert Triangle Carpeta. And um, they have a blog spot, they have an Instagram, but you can go through, find it on Google and you will find the resources. It's a way they, uh, goes with different pre-makers from around the United States and, and Mexico too. That's uh, that's a good way that you can, it's like, it will be like directory, a directory for yourself. So you can just like click and find the pre-maker that you like. Mm. And um, that's that's one way that I can sell. I don't have one name right now. And another ones will be, uh, for example, I was in a residency at Cala. There's many like pre-makers that goes there from, uh, from um, uh, from around the world, and they all have like different ways to approach pre-making, which is like really great. There's not just like one like way. In, in, when you go like as a, an artist there, you experience a lot. So that's a great. Software graphics is another way that you can like find many la many pre-makers and artists. They work with the community. So the, the, I will say like those those are the pre-makers that you can. You can or artists that would like to highlight, highlight it for right now. And how about music? I know you like to post music. You're oh yeah, to there's Facebook. <laughs> yeah, there's a label called like Itos Fine, Itos Fine Noise, and it's a label from Inland Empire. Hmm. They're like a lot of like punk activists, hmm. folks that were there. A lot of them they used to like gravitate about the uh, around this. Uh, or um, collective called um, Blood Orange Info Shop. So it's a really DIY uh, group. It was fine noise. Um, um, there's uh, there's some book that I'm reading. It's called you can How to Disappear, Not So Thin Visibility in This Time of Transparency. It talks about like, you know, about all this social media. But uh, it's 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 good. It's a way like I found out myself like just like talking talking out taking a walk. And the author is Akiko Akiko Bosch B U S C H. And there's a project that's gonna be like coming for it was stop this year, but it's gonna come with for next year with um, a band from um, from Oakland. Mm, they work with another like uh, label a DIY label from. Um, from um, from Philadelphia, which is called Get Better Records. Get Better Records is a uh, uh, label DIY. They like for, works with a lot of uh, queer folks, and they've been doing a lot of like work right now with the um, um, community uh, in highlighting a lot of like musicians or creativity folks too. So by next year, will the album will be out too? So that's another like, way. And they're like they're small outlets that. They're not in the same state, but they always like they have like a connection to here. Thank you. Well, Roman's going to close us out here in a moment, but I um, two things. First, again, Pavel, thank you so much. Uh, our gratitude to you for spending some time with us today. We really appreciate it. Um, and number two, I just want to point out to anybody who didn't already see it in the chat that 
the murals um, that uh, Pavel created that are located on the campus of Chafee College will be available for all of you to see anytime once the campus is open to the general public. Um, two, the first two are located in the dining commons um, in the center of campus and the other is located in the Center for the Arts or CAA building on the second floor. So if you haven't seen them in person in real life yet, um, you know, once things return to a more normal, <laughs> uh, please uh, come back and or, or visit us and, and visit those murals. Yeah, and, and thank you for Chafee uh, College community, Rebecca. They've always been a big support and like a way for me like to keep growing like creativity. So I do really appreciate it. And it's like really important to support any events that you guys have. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll pass it off to Roman here who will close this out. And thanks everybody for attending. We also ask that you complete a quick online survey. Uh, very brief, um, that'll help us evaluate our online programming and our uh, plans for future programs. And that's the tiny URL that should be on the screen there. It's tinyurl.com slash wignallfall20. If you'd like to learn more about native land acknowledgement, uh, there are two websites on the screen that have more information. And other than that, thank you very much for your participation.